Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and a new series on the channel. Uh, today we have the Lions Den League. Uh, Jake Leon or Jake Lyons uh, hosts this league. Uh, every once in a while this is season 3. Uh, I was unaware of this league before yesterday. I just stumbled across it so I figured I'll take part and post my gameplay of my rounds. So how it works is each week there is four categories, four maps, and then they everybody gets ranked on a spreadsheet. So there's 162 players the first week, and these are the categories. I'm, I guess this is like New England, um, region guessing, seasons. So there's kind of themes for each map. Uh, so this is this week's map, week two. As you can see, the leaderboard has not been updated yet. And we have four maps. We have non-intersection guesser. We have whatever this says, which I can't read, but this is the Volga district in Russia. We have Jew Guestron 2024, so I'm not sure if that's 2024 coverage or, you know, maybe just new countries that are in Jew Guestron now in 2024. We'll have to see. And slightly suspicious road lines. So I have all these four maps pulled up on another tab, and I'm just going to, you know, play each of them, do a raw cut of this video. And he put it in the Discord that uh, to not post your gameplay uh, until the week is done. So this will be uploaded. I guess on the 20th or 21st so yeah we'll, we'll do this every week i don't know how many weeks there are um let's see i guess there's, there's 10 weeks so in a, we're on week two so we got lots of time to catch up and position ourselves well if we can play well so if you want to join for yourself uh you know go to jake's channel i'll put the link in this to, in my description as well uh you can read all the, the format the scoring all this stuff if you want to have a look at previous seasons i'm not going to go all, over all that now so yeah let's just get into this video it might be a long one we got four uh seeds to play the first one being non-intersection guesser so we have three minutes moving is allowed and let's see if we can get to 5ks as obviously the more points the better and the higher on the leaderboard we will be so first one here looks to be in uh peru i would think with the black and white signs we're a little slow today but that is fine. Let me just turn this music volume down a little bit. I can never tell how loud it is. Sometimes it chops up my voice. So, I mean, this is definitely a green part of Peru. Which you don't see too often. I mean, it's a little bit dry. I guess that hill looks a little dry. Um, I think we can read the sign. We got a little lady on her bottom. That's uh, that's that's pretty nice. I uh, can't see if that's this like Hastera or something. But let's zoom into Peru here. Cusco maybe? No, probably not. Yeah, I mean it's too early to tell. Let's, let's just keep moving and uh, see if we can find any signs. Use the moving method here, although it's rather slow on my internet and proximity to the Jugas rivers. Anything on this sign? Not so much. That I also can't read. Cinder blocks on the poles are also a good tip for uh, Peru. This must say a region. Hala. Uh, I hate that they put this, like, I, I, it blocks it out, but. Hala. Hala Bursta, maybe? Hayamarca. No, I think it's a BA. Let's have a quick scan for it here. I don't see it. Only a... Only a... Hold on. That, little, that word looks too long, I think. <laughs> Kalabamba? Ooh, that might be it. That actually might be it. Kiabamba. Yeah, that does look like a queue. Okay, I think we're in business. This road is running roughly. Yeah, I think this might actually work. Could we actually be right here, right? Just click. I wonder. We'll see if this loops around. Looks like it does. Hold on. Yeah, we might actually be. Okay, that's where we were. That's where we were. We'll go back to where we started at. So this road's bending a little bit. 
We only get 10 seconds. I might be able to line it up here. Or maybe not. Ooh, it was a bit farther down. That makes sense. Uh, pretty good score there. 4936. I'm glad we found the, uh, the town there. Round number two. Looks like we might be in um, India with this coverage. Hotel Renaissance. Nothing there. So this looks to be like the, I don't know if that's the ocean or a lake to our south. I'm having definitely some trouble moving on this one. Could this actually be uh, Sri Lanka, I wonder? I, don't, I think it's probably likely to be India. This looks like the ocean. So, I mean, I definitely am thinking like somewhere down here, maybe. Uh, might work. But it's that's kind of a bold assumption. So, we'll just kind of go along this road and see if we can find anything better. The language in the script definitely fits down here. It's, it's a little bit more swirly is the word I used to describe it. Definitely makes sense. I think we are likely to be somewhere here. Uh, like I said, it's definitely hard to say. I don't, I'm just trying to still think if this could be Sri Lanka because I know they have like... This does kind of look like low cam almost. Yellow license plates would make sense too. Logistics in India. Okay, that says India. Either way, if it's Sri Lanka, we we are pretty close to it. If we go on the south, go on the south here. You know, we might as well take all of our time on these ones. We want to get as many points as we can. The place as nicely as we can on the leaderboards. So these cars don't have yellow license plates, so. I don't think it I think it probably is India man this coverage is so bad you can't even read signs that says Swaro Swar Swarga that's not how you say that but Swargora or something like that definitely could be right near um most that might not be a place and that just might be that just might mean something so, let's just try to line up this road a little bit with the ocean. We're heading not quite exactly northeast. I think this region does work though. I'll just hedge it a little bit further. Yeah, I think I'll leave it here. Ooh, okay, that's annoying. Lose 2,000 points there. Uh, definitely probably could have lined up the language a bit better there. But, yeah, I mean, I kind of knew it could be anywhere along this coast. With the, all these kind of inlets and stuff, but... The bottom definitely made the most sense to me, so... Kind of annoying one there, but... You know, what can we do? Next round, looks like it might be Indonesia or the Philippines. My first thought was Indonesia, but the concrete road might point towards the uh, Philippines. It's also super tropical. Definitely typical of the Philippines. And we want to get some good scores here so we can, you know, obviously it's not the end of the world if you don't place well, but I'd love to place well. Put my name up there. Uh, that'd be great. So let me just look at some of these signs. Uh, it's definitely kind of hard to tell. Okay. Another thing I'm going to be looking for is Indonesian flags. Uh, they're very patriotic. And yeah, there's actually some English there. So I do feel pretty good about the Philippines. Maglabong. Uh, is that like, that just might be a little suburb or something. But we'll just have a quick look for it. Maglabong. Maglam. Maglambong. Uh, yeah, definitely pretty tropical, like somewhere in the middle of the country, maybe. Malay. 
Pencil A. Hmm, not seeing it here. We'll keep that in mind. Actually, well, I haven't used this feature before, but I think you can set a checkpoint right here. Then that way we can come back at the end if you don't find anything else. Nothing there. Kind of annoying just being in this little neighborhood. Location, Maglebong. So maybe we just have to look for that. I think we might just want to look for that. Uh, it's definitely a dead location, so... I think it might just be wise to look for it, because there's nothing else I could really look for, like... Island or province names or state. Won't really do me much help, so... Let's just head back to the checkpoint to get this word again. Maglebong. And we'll just have a bit more of a search on these islands here. 20 seconds to find it. Not super hopeful, if I'm being honest. Put my marker down there for now. Could we at least get a guess in? Hmm, a lot of similar names here, but not finding Maglebong. That's pretty close to. I, I, I like the central guess anyway. So we'll just see where it's at. Just on this little island. And it actually only says Montreal there, so. I mean, we wouldn't have found it ever, so happy with that one. 4,400 is not too bad. Just some ladder poles here. Uh, don't exactly know what that means. Another very common in Brazil, but obviously this isn't Brazil. Very common in the, I think, Western Europe. This looks like a French sign, maybe. Yeah, it definitely looks like a French sign. And yeah, there should be lots of place names here. Monstache. Got a highway name here, but I think these roads are pretty small. The, the D193. Let's have a quick zoom in. How small are these roads? They're really small. Okay, so if I were to region guess this in France, it's pretty foresty. So I mean, that, that can be really anywhere. And yeah, it's a D193. These are 900s. I'm not sure if these are system. Okay, 170. That's not too bad. Nine hundred still though, yeah. This seems pretty unorganized. Unfortunately for us. I think we'll just keep going. I think some architecture will help here. Actually we'll we'll set another checkpoint here. Uh so if we need to come back to that road name. Monstache. Place name. Right, let's see what these signs say. The D five twenty. That might be more help. And these look like some bigger place names. So, D193 and D520. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like this. Like, what are the odds we find it? Pretty low. I think we might be able to look for these place names. Avalion might be a bit bigger. Yeah, Alright, final region guest. Looks a little southern. I think this isn't a bad guess. We'll just have to see. Up here in this park. And are those place names small? I still don't see any of them, so... And yeah, the D, yeah, those are really small roads, so. Once again, decent region guess there. Kind of just a middle click. And we're on to the last round now, so hopefully we can squeak out a 20k. Uh, would be nice. Now, instantly, this one reminded me of New Zealand. I'm not sure if I'm foolish for saying that. But it does look like we're driving left, and I do think those are uh, New Zealand bollards. And I have been playing New Zealand a little bit for my Gold Around the World series, so I would like to say I have a little bit more 
hope here than I would have a couple weeks ago. Let's just see if we can find the place name or highway name. That'd be pretty helpful. Even the phone code would be nice. I know a couple phone codes. Instantly, I think this is just kind of the middle of North Island, though. I don't think this is South Island. Beth, uh, Beth the Stump Primary School. Oh, these bins usually have a city name on. Let's see what it's say. Tu Wong. Tu Wong. I feel like that's. I mean, it's definitely a place somewhere. We'll keep moving here. We still got a minute. Maybe this bin is a little bit clearer. No, nothing. Nothing on that bin. And nothing really here either. Police station. Police station would be helpful. If it's closed. Oh, that says Australia, actually. I guess it's, yeah, Australia, may, Australia makes sense, too. I just... I really thought that was, uh... We got a yellow plate there, so I think that puts us in Queensland. Man, I just wasted a lot of time in, uh, the thing. That must be a place. We might lose a lot of points here. I did a little bit. Oh, it was literally just not even... Oh, I had a I had a location here, literally. When was that location? Earlier today, I had one there. So, unfortunate there. The thing right there, yeah. Alright, so 18-7. Uh, you know, it's alright. It's a moving map, so it's not great. Uh, the India round, I mean, unfortunate there. And I thought it was on the coast, but I guess the landscape definitely makes sense for that region. We got Blinky with 25Ks. We got a few 25Ks, not too many. So that is that map. I wonder, I mean, there's a lot of 24Ks here. Yeah, it wasn't too hard of a seed there. So that is the first one down. I can't even click back, so we'll just exit of this one and we're on to the Volga region. So <laughs> I have almost no hope for this one. Uh, the Volga region, I believe, is this region bordering Kazakhstan. I don't think it goes all the way down here. And I don't really have a game plan for this one. Um, I can't read Cyrillic. I'm awful at Russia. So, I mean, we're just going to kind of have to hope we get lucky here. If we can even move, that'd be nice. Hopefully we can stumble across the city name and just scan. Uh, or highway might be helpful. Let's see what the banner says. That looks like a place name. I don't even know what to say that. I'm not even going to try. We got a B-U-N-A. I guess is my interpretation of that. B-U-N-A. Yeah, this is just going to be a lot of scanning. So I might speed some of this up in the video. And like, is that a comp? That might just be a company name. It might not even be a city name. Like, maybe that just is B line. Yeah, I. Half of me just wants to insta guess like all these rounds. Uh, to be honest. Because I don't, I like, I'm not really even looking for anything. I mean, it looks a little bit warm, I guess, which, you know, we're in one state, so it's not going to help that much. 
I think you just kind of click middle. Like, we'll just click on one of these maybe a little bit bigger cities. It doesn't look like a major city, though. So maybe one of these. Let's just see. Yeah, like, we only get 150 points for that. And that wasn't actually the city name. So I'm glad we didn't look for it the whole time. So it goes up. So this must be the border of the state here, maybe. Maybe it runs down like that. Anyway. Next one. Definitely looks more rural. I was just thinking maybe like out here. No idea why. Have no reason for thinking that. Um, see if we can find any... Okay, so that's probably a place name. Probably a small one at that though. Benar... Pekka, that's what I'm gonna go by. Benna Perka. Benna Pekka. Uh I yeah, I I don't know. I can't read it. I can't interpret it. I'm I'm interested to see how good players do, especially like Blinky. Like I'm not sure if he can figure out all these Russian ones. Look a little bit farther south. It does look a little bit warm. Although I think I'm just gonna guess because I can spend 15 minutes scanning, or I can spend 5 minutes and probably get almost the same score, so. We only get 21 points there. Again, not the city name whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get no points here. This one looks definitely more northern. I wonder how far north the state goes. I'm going to guess as far north as possible. Yeah, I think I'm just going to guess it. And it's literally south. We get four points. Alright. I'm just going to guess the rest of these rounds because I'm not going to be able to do anything here. Uh, we get a big river heading east. Or, not a big river, but a sizable one at least. So, I mean, where is this running east at? We'll have a look. Pretty sizable. Something like this might work. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, we pick up 1,600 points there. That one's probably gettable. But, you know, if we could get another... If we could get at least 2,000 points, that would be nice. Uh, this one looks a little bit more southern, like... Uh, like I'd, I'd probably normally click down here, but I don't, I don't think it goes that far south. So maybe just over here. I'm really hoping all the weeks coming don't have as difficult ones as this. Like, you know, a Canada one. That would be great. That would be awesome. We could probably get top... Yeah, I think we could get top 20 in a Canada map. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to guess around here. And it's way up there. So, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, we end with an 18, 26. Not surprised. Um, we got a 24k there. It's pretty impressive. I mean, you pretty much just have to be able to read Cyrillic. But yeah, the... Uh, the leaderboards taper off pretty quick. I mean, 50 people have, you know, the top 50 is only 7k. Like, as you can see, these people don't know what they're doing. Just like me, we're 64th. So that's that one. I'm, just, I'm glad that was out of the way. On to GeoGuessr in 2024. This is a no move map, and we only have two minutes. So let's see how we can do here. This is definitely an interesting one. We have short plates. Uh, this is a pretty sizable city too, but that is a thick statue. It's definitely a recognizable one. Um, look at the language here. Not Cyrillic. It's a pretty big blur. It's almost like a snorkel. So what I'm thinking here is. This might be 2024 coverage. I mean, it's 2024 coverage, obviously. So, I'm thinking Stout Home and Prince Deep. Uh, this is like a decently sizable city. And if it is there, we should have a good guess because it's a pretty small one. We have mountains northwest. I mean, yeah, we could really be anywhere, I'd say. That statue, I would imagine, is probably on the map, but probably pretty small. Any noticeable landscape or anything we can use here? We're definitely kind of in the hills. 
And I would say this is definitely looking kind of into the city. Like, look how far that stretches northwest. So northwest would be this way. So I'm thinking maybe over here. Could be. If it makes sense to me. Um, I don't really have another guest other than Stout Home. Um, unless they blurred out the car, I wonder if it could be Kazakhstan. No, Kazakhstan would use Cyrillic. Can't even quite make out what that language is, but I think I just have to leave my guest here. If it's on, if it's on this island, it will be a good guest. If it's not, then you know what can we do? Ah, oh, man. New Mongolia coverage. Uh, that's definitely gettable. The snorkel. I should have thought Mongolia. Oh, that's actually super frustrating. Disappointing. We didn't get that one. Some new coverage here. This is probably Lebanon. I know Lebanon has got coverage. Uh, the language definitely looks about right. Again, Nache and, and Peliaz. Uh, I've had a total of zero locations in Lebanon before, so I don't have much hope, but I do have hope this is in Lebanon. So, yeah, it looks like they must have blurred out the cars because the Mongolia car would have been more noticeable. I'll just zoom in here and see if we have like Antelias or Nache. And I don't see it right now. This definitely doesn't need to be in the major city. That's for sure. So yeah, I think this is just going to be some more scanning. Although, you know, there's a part of me that just, that just wants to guess here. Uh, right away, too. I guess Beirut is actually a capital. I don't know why I was looking in Tripoli. Not seeing any of these place names. It doesn't really feel like a major city, but I guess it could be definitely one of these kind of districts outside the major city, like outside the city center. Oh, Intellius right there. Intellius, that is Intellius, right? Yes, it is. And yeah, Nakachi must be right here. So west under a tunnel. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably somewhere right here. You would head right to go there, so probably just somewhere around here. Super nice, almost a 5k. We'll take that, it will make up for some of the other ones. Next round, I do have some darker people here. I, I think Stout Tome will be on this map. Uh, we're looking east into the water. A restaurant bar. I instantly want to look at Stout Home again. Uh, I thought I think this. I mean, this is 2023 coverage, so I'm not sure. I want to zoom in here again. Just have a look. I mean, this isn't the most built-up place by any means. So maybe we could be like somewhere here. We have a big kind of inlet. And directly east, we're almost looking at land again. So, hmm. I have a loop right here, too. With a road heading all the way around the inlet. I'm just worried it might not be um, this place again. Ondazul. Looks like these. I'm not sure what language this is. It looks like it. Kind of hard to say. I feel like this definitely could be a place with an airport nearby. And this think this foliage kind of works too. So, man, I'm gonna hate myself if it's not here again. But I really don't have another guest. Maybe something like this. Actually, that could be it right there. Oh my god, it was. Holy moly. Okay. That's awesome. Next one here. 
blue strip in Europe. Some English. Len Lendy Bay or something. Uh, I forget what that license plate is. Just for what the blue today. Yeah, Mass was born. So that's maybe just a place in the city. A lot of English here. Probably just a touristy place. Is, that, is this okay? My thoughts are Turkey or Malta right now. Uh, that might be a Malta flag, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe we can zoom in on Malta. Actually, yeah, that does kind of look like a Malta island, like this one. Yeah, like it looks. See that? It's that, and then that would be that. So this is. Xlendi? Is it Xlendi? Okay. Xlendi right here. Perfect. Uh, awesome. And we're at a bus stop. So we might be able to find this bus stop. We got the Marcel Thorn. Uh, I don't think that's really going to show up here, though. How close are we to the water? It looks like the water right there north. So maybe we're right like, here. Kind of a weird intersection. West, there's a road. It doesn't quite fit. I think I have to go here, though. Or no, the water is... Yeah, the water's to the north. I'm not really sure. It should be close here, though. Okay, yeah. Oh, Master Forms over there. Stupid. That's another 5k. Uh, definitely. And we end in Russia. Oh, no, this is Qatar, actually. Or er, Qatar. Kazakhstan. Um, if we can find this place, we're in business because it's one kilometer away. So, instant thoughts here. Pretty dry, pretty barren, a little hilly. Um, I don't know Kazakhstan well, but if I were to guess, um, I don't think it's too close to the, it looks a bit more like Kyrgyzstan. So, I think this is just going to be another round of scanning. Uh, there's nothing else I can really do here. We got Coho, and it's probably a really small place. Hello. It looks like there's not too many places here in Kazakhstan. Not as many as there could be. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll just leave it here. I don't love it, but got nothing else. And it was oven later. Okay, we got the right side of the country at least. And yeah, that's a really small place name. We would yeah, we would have had to zoom in crazy. So eighteen four. I uh, will take that. Uh just the Mongolia round. But yeah, this is definitely a twenty five K able round. Blanky of course has twenty five K. Uh in two minutes. Pretty impressive. I just missed that Mongolia one. I didn't know Mongolia got new coverage. Actually, I did hear about that. But, I mean, I just didn't think of it. I definitely thought that looked kind of like that region, but... Mistakes are mistakes. Last map here. We have slightly suspicious road lines. One minute per round, no move. This will be a quick one. So, all yellow lines. Uh, you get this in a few places. Cumberland Trail. Uh, I think this might be Australia. That sign looks like it's facing for left-hand drive. We have the sun. Not really. Got nothing really helping us here. I mean, yeah, that's only on that side of the road because it has to be for that inlet. These red bollards are definitely unique too. I haven't seen those before. So if I were to make a region guess in Australia, I would have to go somewhere over here. Maybe like a national park like that. I think it might be decent. Maybe a little bit farther south. Let's find out. Oh, nice guess there. I definitely had the right idea. That was actually in 
is that it's not technically that well that it's just a random road so we'll definitely take that guess for the first one uh the yellow line again here um pretty rocky pretty northern looking i'm just trying to is this norway it could be definitely rocky enough to be norway uh some looks to be in the south which is good uh, my other thought here was like this region, like in these hills maybe, but I think usually they have the triple, the yellows, and it's not this rocky here, so I think I do like Norway. And, I mean, these are pretty small trees. Like, usually you get smaller trees the farther you go north. Some white folk there, definitely lines up for Norway. Uh, I think I'll just guess not too far north of Norway. Mm, actually, I have to go a little bit farther north than this. Wow, that is literally New Hampshire. Mount Washington. I mean, yeah, it, I mean, obviously the road line fits for there, but the suspicious road lines made me think, like, I guess usually you have a double yellow in the States. But, yeah, I'm just not getting that one. Next one. We'll say Brazil. But I just hate that there's suspicious road lines. Like, why is there suspicious road lines? Why is that the title? And there's really nothing to go off of here. It also could be an island. I'm kind of getting island vibes. But usually in islands you have a car, like a Google car. And I don't know how common the white Google car is, is, is in uh, Brazil. Hmm. What do I think this is? If it was Brazil, I don't even know where it'd be at. Iron Yao, maybe. I think like, what coverage is this? 2019. Can't be Panama. Not be Curacao. I think actually I'm gonna go Colombia. Last minute change. And yeah, okay, it's just Indonesia. That yeah, usually you don't have double yellows there. It's pretty bizarre. But, man. Okay, forget about the road lines. Pretend the road lines don't exist. Right-hand drive. Um, I'm looking in the north. Man, these are, this is a tough one. Definitely a tough one. Uh, this kind of, like, concrete, like, water drainage system here looks like Kind of familiar, I just can't quite put my finger on it. Ooh, this might actually be Turkey. Yeah, like this guardrail kind of reminds me of Turkey. I think I do like Turkey here. Yep, in this region. Um Yeah. I'm not I don't love it, but it's the best I got. Could be Romania. I, I think it's Turkey though. Man, chilly. On the Argentinian border. Man, I'm getting smoked on this uh, on this game. Last round here, thank the lord. I mean, yeah, obviously, yellow line obviously doesn't make sense here. Definitely like Russia or Ukraine. That kind of... Or, be Bulgarian, actually. Let's see if we have any copyright. No blue strip. Short antenna. 2019 copyright. Definitely looks pretty European. That end with the, the, the symbol on it looks kind of familiar. Uh, where would this be at? We got no blue strips, I don't think. I don't really want to go Ukraine, though. Actually, that looks like that language right there. We'll go on Russia. Or, or it is Russia. Jesus. Jesus, man. That was a hard one. 6,000 points. That's awful. That's definitely some... You can definitely get a good score there. We got one of the highest rated players in the world there. 24k. The scores do drop off pretty drastically, though. Uh, so I don't mind that. We had... I mean, we only had one really nice guess. All the other ones were pretty awful. 
puts a 60 second. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one, man. Um, I feel pretty defeated after that. I can't lie. Uh, that was just, you know, we just got spanked um, by most of those maps. So, so there it is. That's the video. That is week two of the Lion Den. Uh, like I said, this will be posted after the week is over, and that will be the theme for the ongoing weeks. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me getting absolutely demolished by these maps and the map makers. Shout out to the map makers. They did a pretty good job finding some nice locations. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got destroyed. Um, there's really not much else to say there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And yeah, stick around for my other series, Road the Champion and uh, Gold Around the World. Those are definitely some more enjoyable videos to watch than this one uh, in terms of performance. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you in the next video.